The stress of going through an operation has sometimes been compared to running a marathon. And you can't run a marathon without training for it. So right before you have your operation, if there are ways you can become more healthy, including starting an exercise regimen that is more regular, bring out those walking shoes, do 20 minutes two or three times a week. If you smoke, you should quit smoking. If you are taking any medications, you may need to adjust them before surgery. In addition to your imaging and biopsy, you will be asked about any allergies and will need a physical and medical history. Tell your healthcare provider if you have a pacemaker or other heart device. Let them know if you have symptoms of or have been diagnosed with sleep apnea or have ever had a problem with anesthesia in the past. Pre-admission testing may include blood work, a chest x-ray, urinalysis, and electrocardiogram. Performing certain stretching exercises after your surgery is recommended. It's a good idea to practice these exercises before surgery so you become familiar with them. The goal is to restore your shoulder range of motion and your function. I'm gonna tell you how to do the scapular squeeze exercise. You're gonna start sitting up straight. Okay. Your shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, hands relaxed. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna take your shoulder blades, you're gonna gently squeeze them together, pulling your arms back, Hold that for five seconds and then come back. The important thing with this one is you want to feel the motion between your shoulder blades and you want to keep your neck and your shoulders relaxed. Yes. The next one we call the table slide. You're going to come over to the table, have a seat, put both hands palm down on the table and then you're going to take your affected arm and you're going to slide it forward as far as you can. You're going to feel a stretch, hold that for five seconds and then gently bring it back. Excellent, excellent. And you'll do that one 10 times. Okay. The next exercise we call the wall slide, and you'll need a wall for this one. Okay. So you'll come up close to the wall about 12 inches back, scoot back a little bit. Okay. Good. Put your affected arm on the wall, and then you're going to slide up as far as you can. Feel that stretch. Very good. Hold for five seconds, and then bring it back. Excellent. And you'll do that one 10 times. Okay. Lymphedema refers to the swelling that can occur in your arms after surgery and can be caused by the removal or damage to your lymph nodes. Fluid may accumulate beneath the skin in the lymph vessels and cause swelling. If you develop lymphedema, you may need to wear a compression sleeve. A compression sleeve can be pulled carefully onto the arm affected to apply pressure and keep lymph moving in the right direction. But you'll still have some adjustments to make. A pneumatic compression device is a machine that inflates a sleeve or vest to stimulate the flow of lymph in the right direction. It is important to know that not everyone who has breast cancer surgery is going to develop lymphedema. In fact, what we now know is that there are certain types of operation that will put you at higher risk for lymphedema compared to others. If that is the case, the most important thing to do is to prepare for the possibility that you will get lymphedema. Your surgical team will talk with you about your pain control options following surgery. The goals of your pain plan will be to minimize your pain, keep you moving after surgery, help your incisions heal, and decrease the need for opioid pain medication. One of the things that you may want to prepare for before your operation is to ensure that you will have a companion to come with you on the day of your surgery. You are unable to drive yourself home after you've received anesthesia, so you do need somebody to help you. On the day of surgery, you usually must not eat anything at least four hours before the procedure and stop drinking clear liquids two hours before. You can usually take your morning medication with a sip of water, but check with your doctor. If you are a diabetic, your insulin may have to be adjusted. Take a shower, cleaning your whole body with a non-scented, mild antiseptic soap. Do not apply lotions, cream, powder, deodorant, makeup, or perfume after your shower. 
Brush your teeth and rinse your mouth with an antiseptic mouthwash to help prevent the bacteria in your mouth, which may cause pneumonia. Some women are concerned about what they would be able to do after surgery and will already prepare their home for the possibility of not being able to lift something very heavy or cook if they like to do that. So they will make casseroles ahead of time so that they don't have to worry about a lot of involved self-care. Try and get a good night's sleep and make sure you set your alarm clock if you need to be at the hospital early in the morning.